liberals are still in full hysteria and panic over the thought that they might lose their monopoly on speech in this country since Elon Musk has bought Twitter. It's such a weird piece of news. Yeah. This guy is such a strange person to be taking over something like this. Twitter has lied about how it has put its finger on the scale about yes. election interference until after the fact. Twitter is not transparent about its policies, its algorithms. Twitter is not transparent about uh, how people are removed from the platform. Is it a <laughs> foregone conclusion that Trump's going to be back on Twitter? No matter who owns or runs uh, Twitter, uh, the president has long been concerned about the power of large social media platforms. That power they have over our everyday lives has long argued that tech platforms must be held accountable for the harms they cause. It all started on the 25th of March, when Elon Musk posted a Twitter poll in which he asked his followers if Twitter was rigorously enforcing free speech on its platform or not. Less than an hour later, he followed up saying that the consequences of this poll would be extremely important. Suddenly, what seemed like a simple joke at first turned into something pretty serious. And it's safe to say that nobody expected the chaos that would be caused by the result of this simple poll. America's ever so fragile left liberals, they can't seem to handle it emotionally. It's getting funny. Many are threatening to quit. It just demonstrates clearly and confirms the true bias inside Twitter. That the poll concluded with 70% voting that Twitter was in fact not rigorously enforcing free speech with many saying that Twitter was infringing on free speech by censoring the views of certain groups and individuals. However, others were defending the fact that Twitter had the right to censor people since it wasn't a government-owned company. Either way, only one day after the poll concluded, Musk hinted that he would shake up the social media industry by possibly creating a new social media platform. But instead of creating a new platform, Everybody began to joke that he should just use his billions and buy Twitter. And that is exactly what he did. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has now taken a passive stake in Twitter. That's going to a new SEC filing. The filing says his stake amounts to 9.2% of Twitter's common stock. I don't know what you think. I mean, just a week ago, here he was saying that he wanted to start his own. Clearly, he's not doing that. On the 4th of April, Musk revealed that he had bought 9.2% of Twitter for a massive sum of around 2.9 billion US dollars, turning him into the biggest Twitter shareholder. This skyrocketed the company's stock price by 27% in under 24 hours causing the biggest intraday increase since Twitter's first day of trading in 2013. Musk, who celebrated the acquisition by shitposting on Twitter, was now going to join Twitter's board, meaning that he would have a say in the direction the company would be heading and could propose changes to improve Twitter as a whole. It seemed like Musk was just going to help the company, and that's all there was to it. But no. This was just the beginning of one of the craziest and most expensive social media moments ever. Only a few days after talks about joining the board began, Musk did a complete 180 and decided not to join Twitter's board after all, with rumors that the company's executives told him to play by the rules, which is something the billionaire didn't like at all. As a member of the board, remember, he's limited at 14.9% of shares. Now, he's not. Now he has no limits. And let's keep in mind, he's worth $274 billion. At that moment, nobody knew what was going to happen. Was Musk going to leave Twitter after just a few days? Was it all a stunt to sell his shares for a few hundred million in profit? What was going on? On the 14th of April, Musk once again surprised everyone, including the Twitter executives and shareholders, by making an official offer to buy the entire company for a staggering 44 billion US dollars. This move was extremely aggressive and basically forced Twitter to accept the deal because if they declined, they'd risk Musk selling his shares, which would inevitably lead to a massive sell-off that could tank Twitter's stock price. But to make things even crazier, 
Musk wasn't the only billionaire bidding for Twitter. The crypto billionaire Justin Sun also made a bid for the platform, claiming to buy it at a price of $60 per share, $6 more per share than what Elon Musk was offering, which would total around 48.7 billion US dollars. However, as we all know, Justin Sun likes to talk a lot without ever following through with his statements. And according to several sources, there was never an offer from Justin Sun to Twitter. The board enacted a poison pill, a defensive measure, trying to really give them time to look for a second bidder or a white knight. That white knight never came. They were at the altar empty-handed, which is why ultimately over the weekend they had to sit down with Musk and try to hash out a deal. Either way, now all hell broke loose. Twitter was about to be taken over and there was nothing they could do about it. The US government was scared that restricted accounts, including Donald Trump and Alex Jones, could return to the platform. Extremists on both the right and the left were worried that Elon Musk could destroy the safe places they've built up over the last few years. And for whatever reason, Dogecoin was pumping. It was pure chaos. While everyone was concerned about what the hell was going to happen, Elon kept on shitposting which included some very interesting comparisons of Bill Gates. Yeah, weird. Then, on the 25th of April, it was official. We are following breaking news. The deal is done. Twitter has been sold to Elon Musk. In only one month, and with an extremely aggressive maneuver, Elon Musk successfully bought his favorite social media platform. And all because of a simple poll in which you, yes, I'm talking to you, the person who's watching this video, might have voted on. And if you did, let us know in the comments. Because this is the first time that something like this has happened, nobody knows what's next for Twitter. Some believe it will be good for the platform, with Jack Dorsey, one of the founders of the platform, saying that Musk would be the only person he trusts when it comes to owning Twitter. And on the other side, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon and Musk's so-called arch-rival, suggesting that this move might be pretty bad because China could gain influence over the tech mogul's Twitter by using the Chinese Tesla market as leverage. In any event, it really is an incredibly interesting move, and only time will tell how this will turn out. But some of the coming changes have already been revealed, with the focus being on easing the content restrictions and combating the thousands of fake accounts that are promoting scams on every tweet. And yeah, we might even see an edit button. Please subscribe, like, and click here to learn how cheaters make hundreds of millions from hacking video games. Video narrated by Eric Peabody.